Another way we can show our views is by using a displaced or uh, using the section box tool to displace different parts of the view. And I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. One, um, I think is kind of a cooler way of showing floor plans potentially. So I think the key thing when we're doing this is we want to pick an orientation of our view first because what we want to do is we want to actually go down to this little house icon here. We want to click save orientation in lock view. And so that's really important because when we we want to have the kind of same orientation for all the different pieces so that it looks cohesive. So once we click save orientation in lock view, it's actually not going to let me rotate now. So I'm trying to rotate this. So it won't let me rotate it. But if we go here, unlock view, we can rotate it around and then just go back to this cube and go to restore orientation in lock view and just kind of snaps that ba us back to that place. So that's, that's kind of the setup here. So let's go to our section box tool. And so the way I would use this would be like, say for example, we wanted to cut the, the floor plan and the section apart. And obviously you can do that with displacement, um, which if you don't know how to do, I can, I can show in another video, but uh, when you cut it like that, um, it just, I think it's a little bit more effective doing it this way in terms of graphics. So I'm just going to unlock my view. And I'm just going to do a couple things here just to start. I'm just going to bring in this crop box so we're not seeing as much of the topography. So we're just going to crop it just around our building like so. And essentially, I'm not going to go to restore view just yet, but we're going to be in this area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this detailing. So I'm going to call this one uh, 3D section, section exploded or axon, let's call it axon, axon one. And then I'm gonna call this 3D section axon two. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my front view and I'm actually gonna cut this down. So we're kind of somewhere down in the middle. I'm just gonna cut it right above that part of the window. And let's go to restore orientation and lock view. So now we have this kind of cool cut view of our building. And so I'm going to go to 3D. Uh, sorry, I did that in reverse. Uh, okay. Let's go back to our front view. And I'm just going to move this section box up. So move this up here. So it shows the roof. And I'm just going to raise this up just a little bit more like so, and then I'm gonna go back to the other one and go to front view on this one and just bring this one down to around the windows. And I, what did I just do there? I don't know what I did there. I think I was just still controlling the other section view. Yeah, cool. It's a wonderful view there. What is going on here? I've never done that before. That was weird. Uh, so let's just pull this one back down. I forgot to exit out. So I was like holding both sections at the same time. Now we go to restore orientation and we'll go to this and go to restore orientation. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why would I ever want to do this? Uh, so the answer is when we go to new sheet and place this on a new sheet, we can actually have more control over how the views are displaced. And the other cool thing is if we go back to that 3D section we were working on earlier, we could go to, uh, let's change this to hidden line view. We could go to view, the, uh, view template, create new template from current view. Now uh, let's call this 3D section. And I'm, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. And then I'm going to go over to our new axons here. We'll go down here to view template. And we can apply our new 3D section view template. And this is where it actually becomes cool in this view because we can actually see all those walls get post shade in now. And those graphics are cohesive. And so now when we have them on our sheet, um, let's maybe just, these are both. Yeah, we can change the scale of these. 
So now you can displace that. So that's one way to do it. I'm just going to pause this and I'll create another video of doing it the other way.